special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons. Sam Medina, Lucky Charms, Matthew Hall, Anik D, Charlene Kelly, Riptide, Blabia Cookie, Madlo, Yushika Bay, and Rick Hemingway for your amazing support. It really helps and means a lot. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Simulates That I, Darkest Fool's Mod. So I am super mad at myself. I had to go back to the trader and buy 10 silver ingots, uh, or silver what, ores, whatever you call it. Because, um, yeah, I was sitting here waiting for this stuff to finish, and then I realized to make the buggy, you need a V8 engine and not a normal engine. That's why it's so much faster and stronger, and it can go over terrain better than the motorcycle. I completely, completely forgot that at all. I didn't even check, and so I had to do this. It was like... Eight, you know, 200 steel and yeah look at this 10 silver nuggets so i had to go buy this back from the trader just to be able to make this now i could have actually been at the other pi already i was waiting for it to finish because i was like you know what i need the space let's just wait for it to finish we will need it and now i'm regretting it because i could have been there already i could have started that quest i wonder if i should take some pulse grenades with me although we do have the two turrets so for now that should be fine uh i want to make sure we fill up these stacks okay so yeah, unfortunately we won't have enough space right now. Uh, we only have our motorcycle with us. I want to see how high is my uh, wellness supposed to be. If you drink this and vitamins, it should increase to the max. Well, it should increase a little bit, but I think we're already at full potential. So what I need to do is I, sh I should actually start putting some points into health nut over here to get all of this higher as well. I'm running out of stamina while just doing basic tasks because you just don't have the... I mean, the, the reserves for it. Yeah, the reserve, that's the word. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna, oh wait, we can actually hit the road over there and make it across. Guys, we have done this pure eye twice. Um, so I know it is starting to get boring doing the same thing, but the first time we did it, uh, we got a behemoth jump scare, and that's about it, it was easy enough. Second time we did it, we got another lady behemoth, and this time there was way more tough zombies. And now the third time we're gonna do it, it's gonna be an actual clear quest. I think last time was a fetch quest. It's now going to be an actual clear quest, and it's the 4.1.1 version. So I'm actually kind of uh, curious to see what the spawns are like now in this update. Did the spawns change at all? Are they still the same? We need to know this stuff so it's easier later to get stuff done. If we don't know this and we think uh, everything's still the same, we're going to get such a massive nasty surprise if all of a sudden we start getting demon bosses and we didn't get them last time. So far with this new update, it seems uh, even more balanced, but I mean, if you take the amount of behemoths we got during the Day 42 Horde Night, I'm actually really, really worried about the future. We haven't even started getting normal demonic zombies that can just vomit at us. Now imagine getting all those behemoths and the uh, vo one second vomit and bosses. At this stage, it's going to get so utterly insane, it's going to be really tough getting stuff done. Okay, at least this time around, we do have two turrets with us. So we should be able to get this done easily. Okay, um... There's no point in relying on the turrets when we don't have to. Hello, hello, hello. I want to get the resources, but once again, only at the end. And I think this time around, we're only going to go for the resources on the floor. We don't have to wrench all the workstations and all that stuff. Although, I mean, it does give you more loot. I'm going to go for these resources, we'll go for all the uh, boxes, but for now, we're gonna, just going to focus on clearing this. Careful of that explosive over there. I'm trying to be careful. As soon as I see too many zombies coming for me, I need to put down my... ...dunk turret. Hello. I was wondering where you were just now. I saw the dot, but I didn't notice. I, didn't, I couldn't see where it was coming from. There's definitely some tough zombies over that side. As long as we don't see red, it shouldn't be demonic. But we're definitely going to start getting way more of these tough zombies. Yeah, these tough ones, look how many shots it has to take with a sword to die. Yeah, this is definitely... Last time we didn't have this many tough zombies, now they're all over there. Okay. As long as no other red dots are moving, there's a ton on the map over here. Oh crap. And it's red. So he's part of this quest. But yeah, at, at least last time we did get a spider demonic zombie. So it's not like I'm not expecting it at all, but I just still need to be careful. Now we know there are demons in this place as well. That's what we have to really be careful for. Barrels, tough zombies, all that stuff's easy. But the real tough part is when you start getting the demonic ones. The ones that can actually vomit at you and spew fire and stuff. 
Okay, um, that side's gonna come for us as soon as we do this. Not even part of this place, please. Okay, I'm gonna see if I do this. If there's demons that start showing up, at least this, uh, these turrets are gonna be firing at it for us. I could probably lure them back. Let's just reload these. I'm gonna place them in such a position that they're closer to all the zombies. And also that I can just, anytime I want to, just fall back and have them shoot. Last time we actually had the... I wonder if the spiders are still a thing, the mutated spiders. Last time we had a ton of mutated spiders. And this time around, I didn't see any mutated spiders during Horde Night, and I'm not seeing any sleepers of here. So I wonder if they were removed or something. Come on, all you dudes come for me. The more demons come for us right now, the better as well, because I want to make sure that we're protected over here. At least we see the red dots on the map, so know exactly where the zombies are coming from. I need to work on the range of these things as well, it seems. They're not really firing all that far at the moment, and that might cause our death. Come on, my lady. I'm actually curious to see if we're going to start getting behemoths and stuff right off the bat again. Last time I did this twice, we actually got behemoths. Last two times. Okay, we should probably do the outskirts first, right? There might be zombies and stuff downstairs, but that doesn't really matter right now. Let's go for the other side. Ooh, hello. Mutated in the staircase. Okay, he's gonna fall down to us. Oh wow, nice, in the air. I'm surprised I actually made that shot just now. Okay, we do have the squirrel gun as well. I should probably start using it more too. I only mostly want to use it for like, um, oh no situations, but... If we can kill a ton of zombies, why not? I need to be careful. Like I said guys, I have no idea how they updated this. Um, we might get more behemoths, we might not get any behemoths at all. It all depends on what was changed in 4.1.1. So far, I think like the behemoths were taken out of here. It feels like, because there's way more tough zombies. And other than that, I'm not really getting any really tough zombies over here. A wolf's in the distance, that's a part of the pure eye. Hello? Oh, he's upstairs. I was about to say, where's the red dot? I see a red dot on the map, but I can't see any zombie. I want to be so careful right now, just in case there's Beamer standing around. But it does seem like this time around is going to be a little bit easier. It might just be my imagination, but it does seem a little easier. I need to make sure when I place my turrets down like this, I actually pick them back up again. Nice. He's upstairs. Be careful because sometimes when you just walk into a room like this, it can be really bad for you. Maybe careful that there's no demon waking up over here. Ooh, nice. Look how easy the arms fall down or fall off. That's actually a really cool feature. Apparently, uh, this dude in yellow was like the test case. They're going to do it with way more zombies in the future where the zombies can actually get dismembered and stuff. It just looks so awesome. Be careful. That soldier's going to make it up soon. Yep. Let's just let the turret help us. Why struggle when it can actually help? I should probably loot the lockers as well, just in case there's some uh, schematics in there. But I don't know whether that's actually going to be worth it or not. But now what I'm mostly interested in, guys, is notes. We need so many notes. Okay, there should be one more zombie inside of here. I don't know if it's going to be demonic or not. I'll probably do the bottom first and then do the uh, next from there. What kind of spider are you? Oh, hello. Dive bombing me over here. That's not very nice. Oh, yes, schematics. I need schematics. Please, more. It sucks when they don't have. You, you expect so much and then there's nothing. It's just a massive letdown. 
Okay, so these zombies are gone. I don't know if there's any red dots at the back of here. No. Okay, cool. So now we have to do the bottom. Uh, yeah, let's go down first and then we can go up. I want to make sure there's no zombies underneath that can come up and no uh, zombies up top that can come down. I think this time around there might actually be a little bit more demons and stuff here, so I'm going to make sure that these turrets are ready to fire. I want to do this. I'm going to put one facing that way and one facing this way. That way, if zombies come now, we'll be able to have both sides covered. Booyah! I just have to make sure that we're con uh, current or constantly, not currently, we're constantly also repairing our um, or reloading our turrets. That one's going to come from that side. That one's going to come from that side. Although I think both might fit through the door there. Hello? I need to be careful just in case there's a behemoth down here. I need to check these red dots just in case. I hate wasting stamina. Oh, hello. Okay, so far so good, guys. Especially with two turrets. There's a very, very small chance of us actually dying with two turrets now. Especially if I can actually put it down in time to face whatever might be there. Even if a behemoth comes for us right now. As long as we have both these turrets, we should actually be able to really just survive easily. There's nothing behind us. There's definitely going to be zombies sleeping up here. It's a shame that red dots only mostly show up as soon as you start doing damage. If they were there from the start, we wouldn't have to worry too much. I'm going to put that there, put this here. Okay, the turrets take them down, the turrets take them down. That's, that's okay. I wonder if I shouldn't go and um, range these workstations over here. If I range the workstations, we don't have to worry about um, forged iron. We don't have to worry about making forged iron. We can actually save some resources. But at the same time, actually doing it takes a lot of time and effort. Hello, my brother. Bye-bye. Okay, so yeah, all the zombies downstairs are done. And this time around, we didn't get a behemoth, which makes me scared for the top. The first time we had a behemoth coming out over, through over here. And the second time, I think the, the behemoth came from the top, so I need to be careful. Yeah, one skill point to spend. I need to really think where I'm going to put those skill points. Okie dokie now. Come on. There you go. With two turrets, this is going to be so much easier. I can actually move even closer. Hello. Knocky knock. If I get overwhelmed, I can just fall back. So until I get overwhelmed, we can just keep on going and have some fun over here. I do need to be careful of behemoths. Just in case there's a behemoth. Ooh, landmine. Or was that a... No, that was a demonic, I think. I think that might have been a demonic. I need to be careful. I only see two red dots. I'm not sure. Yeah, these were just tough, uh, tough zombies. Okay, we're getting a ton of duct tape and stuff. So that's cool. I don't see any red meteors, so these sh should be the only ones. Here's the nice thing about a fetch quest or a uh, kill quest like this is the fact that you can see the red dots getting closer and closer and closer. So you know exactly where they're going to come from, uh, what you need to do to kill them, because they're coming straight at you. You don't have to worry, because if, with fetch quests, you don't see the red markers, so you, you only see where the, where the treasure is. So it makes it a little bit, little bit more difficult. Okay, uh, I should probably start eating and drinking over here. We don't really need to eat and drink right now, but I need the space. So we'll definitely go and scrap as much as possible, drink what we can. I need to make sure we don't get too cluttered right now. On, on the way back down, we'll get we'll loot everything else. Oh! Now I need to be careful, there's so many red dots everywhere. Some scientists over there. Are oh, they downstairs? 
That's not good. When they push me up like this, it makes it a little bit harder for me. Where did you guys come from just now? There's so many of you. Is this another wandering hall? No, it's red dots. Okay, I need to be careful right now. Yeah, this thing packs such a punch, you can actually kill a uh, radiated zombie like this. Easy. You don't even have to do uh, headshots, just body shots. Especially since they stand still because they want to explode. It gives you a chance to just do a little bit more damage. Okay, red dots, red dots, red dots. We have one moving over here, but I don't know if that's a vulture. That's a dog down below. Oh no, there you go. Hello. We should probably also make sure we get all the loot bags and stuff. You never know what these things have inside them. I don't know where that sound's coming from. Is that an inside zombie, outside zombie? There's definitely going to be zombies over there on, the, on that surface. So all I need to do is just put my turrets over here and we should be able to kill those ones easily. Last time? Yeah, there was a demo. This time as well. Oh, did the thing uh, cave in again? Yeah. That red dot fell down, but he's still alive. Now he's dead. I need to be careful. These uh, demos don't give a damn about you. Yeah, how do I get up there now? I want to make sure that these, this stuff that's so on their own, in the middle of nowhere, we'll see. Either we loot them at least. I'm going to have to do the same for the final stash that's hanging over there like last time. I have to support it from the bottom and then pick it up. Okay, unfortunately this thing broke again, which means the vultures are going to get so scattered right now as well. Come on, do headshots. If you fall, are you going to die from the damage? I wonder. Oh crap, there's a screamer somewhere. No, 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 where's a screamer? Why is he swimming on air? The NPC is swimming in the air over there. I heard a screamer though. I'm so scared right now. I can't afford to deal with this place. At least we got the bottom already. So as long as we can just block off the stairs, we should be safe. But I don't know what the screamer is going to spawn. Look at that. The NPC is bugged. The NPC is swimming in the air. That is so weird. Okay. Be careful of the screamer. I definitely heard a screamer over here somewhere. Look, I'm all of a sudden going to hear a, a, a screamer mess coming for me. Probably clear out the roof as soon as possible. This is going to make so much noise. I should probably just block this off. Just in case a screamer comes from down below. Okay, there's going to be zombies up top over here. You can actually see the vultures from over there. Uh, let me just see. Can I snipe some of these dudes? Guys, I have this bad habit of sometimes when I'm stressed or... You know, when it's an intense moment when I'm almost dying, I'm too close to the mic. And then I'm, I'm getting further and I just call myself getting way too far away from the mic while talking. Let's just see if I can't in, uh, invest a little bit more into the assassin, the ninja skill. Because this, I should be able to kill uh, most zombies, especially with steel crossbow bolts. I should be able to kill most zombies one shot, but at the moment... Especially this dude, for example. So much HP left. We should probably put my turrets down just in case. You know, sometimes the roof has a ton of zombies. I want to be careful. Oh! How did she make it up here? Oh, the ladder! Oh, that could have been bad. I completely forgot about the ladder just now. If she actually managed to make it up just now, I would have been so screwed. Okay, still says clear area, so there's definitely zombies left upstairs. Guys, it seems it's definitely been made a little bit easier now. 
Let's just do this. Do this. I'm shooting from all angles. I need to make sure they don't explode. No, 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 no. If they stand still, they're gonna explode. Damn it. Okay. At least if they explode, that still counts as a clear. Still says clear area, so it must have been a zombie that either fell down or that's still sleeping. I'm just hoping another screamer doesn't show up in the meantime. We might actually have a little bit of a problem. Oh, it's a snake above us. There's more snakes. Yeah, last time this happened as well, I had to actually look for the snakes all over because I couldn't see all of them. Hello, sneaky snake. Still says clear areas, guys, so I have no idea where the other snake is. I can't remember when uh, where lost the other snake. Oh, yeah, also the vultures. There's vultures on this stuff over here. But all we need to do is just stack up. Uh, there might not be another snake left. It might just be the vultures up here. Uh, let's just see. At least now we have the coil pistol. We should actually be able to do some nice, nice damage. Oh, and there's little normal zo uh, zombies over here as well. See, there's a few vultures over here. Okay, are we done? Oh, there's more vultures left or something. But oh, now it has to be a snake or something, which, unless that's a vulture over there. No, that's not a vulture, that's just a corpse. Okay, so there's definitely still a snake or something over here that I didn't kill. It's probably going to be a snake because I think I got most of the zombies just now, so that shouldn't be a, uh, an issue. Guys, I'm just hoping we have enough notes now to do the scientist class as well. If we can get the vehicle... The, the, the new buggy, uh, and we can get ourselves... I wonder if I should use the breaching rounds. If I can get myself the buggy, and we can actually get ourselves the this class this episode, ho ho! It's gonna help us so much. I don't mind wasting this ammo right now, because I want to get rid of it as well. Okay, scrap, scrap. Let's probably start making some space over here to work with. Uh, we have enough of these, have enough of these. If we have a lot at the base already, like these. We have so many at the base, we don't really have to keep them on us. We're just going to scrap them. If I don't need them, I don't need them. Although we are going to need more space, so I'm going to do this. It's a shame you can't do power attacks with this one. Although, no you can't. It's only upgrading with this one. Usually if you look away and you look at it just as you swing, it actually still does the damage you want. Now, where, oh where are all these zombies? I'm definitely going to go for all of the resources this place has to offer. So, oh, where's my shovel? I'm gonna go one level down at a time. We still have to go for that one, but we have to put frames underneath it to support it. If we do, uh, don't put the frames... Oh, there's still zombies left on this floor. I could have saw me killed all of these already. But yeah, guys, if you don't put the um, uh, the frames down underneath that, it's gonna cave in and I'm gonna lose everything. Are they above us? Below us? Next to us? Okay, so you were still on the scaffolding over here. We sent you trader. Nice, you're done. I didn't even realize they were still on the scaffolding. Usually I open up uh, the resources over here while we're going up, so I think that's why I missed them this time. I was actually um, thinking we're gonna get another snake or something hiding somewhere. Oh crap, I should have broken that first. But I don't I don't think I'm gonna be wrenching that. I should probably. It just takes so much time and effort to go and wrench these. Okay, these, this one's just four shots, but some of them take forever to break. Okay, what else, what else, what else? More resources. Since it says return to trader, we should be safe. Except for the one, guys, it had, I think it was a rebalanced again, the difficulty. Because last time we actually had behemoths and very few, uh, we, like, uh, we had the, the, what do you call it, mutated spiders, and we had behemoths. So the, technically that's a lot of like demon level stuff. Uh, even the demonic, uh, just just the spider, guys. The mutated spider counts as like a demon thing because it can spew uh, rockets at you. Although it's been a while since I've actually seen them do that. But yeah, now all of a sudden we didn't get those and we got more just normal random zombies. Scrap, 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 scrap. I don't need any of this stuff. I need the weapon parts because we need to start thinking of making our own weapons. 
But yeah, we're getting way more normal zombies, although we're getting way more tough zombies. So you have to focus on clearing out the tough ones, and then you can do what you want to do. And I like that. I like... Uh, and the, guys, before all of these updates, these 4.1s and whatever, we had a problem where you'd make coil for the tough zombies, and by the time you can actually get to use the, uh, use the coil ammo, you're already getting demons, and then you need laser tech. Now it's been stretched uh, the right way so that you don't have to worry constantly about not having the right ammo for the right um, enemy or getting uh, too strong an enemy too fast. That's why I, I know it gets tedious me saying it over and over and over again, but yeah, I love the way it's mod oh, that's balanced right now. Kane hit the sweet spots. Okay, I'm not going to get that stuff, only the resources for now. I don't want to waste any time. There's also resources and a secret room downstairs. Probably be careful of a wandering ward <laughs> if I'm stuck on a ladder or something. At least we should be able to get to safety on top. But I don't want a wandering ward messing with me right now. Is, it, is that a jail cell or is that just like an elevator or something? It's so weird seeing uh, that over there. It's like zombies can easily come for you from any direction. Especially since now we've done the clear, the zombies don't show on the map, so we have to be way more careful. I thought I just heard a dog. If I hear a dog, it means there's a wandering horde trying to get in somewhere. Well, it's most likely there's a, uh, a wandering horde. Okay, so let's just really drop all this stuff. I have more loot over here to get. There's way, way more stuff in this place to get. Um, I remember I thought it was an airdrop over there. I was like, oh, awesome, nice. Full stacks of resources and anything I can't stack need to go on my bike right now. And when we get back to the base, the buggy should be done and hopefully that has way more storage as well. There's a little bit of storage is definitely not my thing right now. Tools, 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 tools. We're getting so much, so many tools, damn. Okay, uh, full stack. That's not a full stack. Only stuff that's always stacked we can actually put in there. Or stuff you know you're not really going to get. All this crap I should just technically drop because you're not, we're not going to use it. But for now, let's just put everything over here. Heal up. And we need to get all the resources over here. But I also want to get all of these over here. I almost always forget about the ones on the scaffolding. Although, if it's too far up, I'm not going to... Yeah, okay, look at that. If you aim it just right, you might be able to get it from the floor. But it's still, it's so far up there, it's not worth it. Um, There's workstations down here as well. I can't remember if I got them when I was down here. Let me just quickly get the workstations and then we can get back to the base. For those of you new to this pure eye that didn't see me do it the first two times, uh, as soon as you get over here and then you see this uh, staircase being blocked off, to the right there is resources and if you keep uh, keep going over here, then we don't have an explosive to set this one off. If you keep going over here, you can actually get more resources and stuff. Hidden crates. Especially early game when you need tools and stuff, this is such an easy way to get uh, resources. And then there's another trick over here, because uh, those of you that don't know the game that well, might just want to go... You stack up, you try and loot that stuff, but as soon as you loot anything over there, it breaks. So first off, what you need to do is, well, you can actually probably get all the resources out of the way of here. Can you use normal wood like this? Just stack up next to it, and then you have to make sure that the frames are touching underneath. I'm hoping this is the right space just now. Yeah, but still a little bit offset, it might not work. Okay, see, now it's touching over here. So now if you go and break stuff, it shouldn't cave in. Although I did do this in an ang a weird angle just now, so it might still cave in. So if you don't have it supported with a frame underneath, guys, and you start looting over here, you lose everything. So rather make sure you do it right from the start, and then you don't have to worry about losing anything. I mean, look at this. We're getting so many schematics and stuff that we really, re really need right now. Ooh, advanced cooling mesh as well. I've actually been waiting for that. Okay, and then we need more resources. There's so much resources down below us as well. What is that? Shotgun Messiah. That you can on our axe, that's going to do more damage, and then voila. Okay, now when you go down, all of this is going to cave in. That would have happened if you just started looting. A lot of people don't know that, so they start looting and then lose everything. On the one hand, I should probably get all the resources over here, but on the other hand, guys, it's going to take way, way, way too long getting all this stuff. So I think all I'm going to do is make sure we get the resources, the cobble, all this, and then we can get back to the base. I think the buggy should be done by now as well. 
Okay, so I almost forgot about all of the ammo piles and stuff if you're on the ledge, but you need to be careful because this is so, so easily cave, uh, it can cave in so easily. So if I do this, oh, I made it, okay, cool. <laughs> I want to get uh, the ammo pile over there as well and then also a munitions chest. Right, yeah, especially since for Horde Knight we need so much ammo, we cannot afford not to loot these. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to crouch and loot because it takes longer to loot. Come on, give me some good stuff. This is so Whoops. Uh, uh, yeah, this is so super unstable, guys, that you can't walk all the way there. It's going to cave in as soon as you try. So the best way to do it is... I, I wish there were ladders in this place as well. Who knows? There might be, and I might just I'll be looking past it. But you have to stack up like this. And then there's always a chance of a wandering horde or something coming past and then annihilating you. So if it's not for that, then you should be safe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make sure this is in the middle. One over. Okay, so now I need to be way more careful because this is going to cave in. I'm just hoping it doesn't take my frames with me. I'm, I don't want to take the small one. I want to take the big one at the back. Okay. Um, can I have time to loot the other one as well? Nope. Damn. Ooh. Ooh, if that made that too heavy just now, I might have had a problem. Okay, now we go over here and we just get this mission chest and then we have to go to the trader and just hand this in. Come on, give me some good ammo. Because especially after Horde Knight, since we use so much ammo, we need the ammo from these quests. So every time I see a thing like this, um, in your chest, I'm like, oh yes, awesome. And we can sell that. Drop that. We have a ton at the base already, and boom. Okay, now I'm just going to go to the trader so we can actually hand all this in. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we can accept a new what quest from her. For? We did all the tier 5 last can time. I trust you? Boom. Oh, now also we have two turrets, so we might be able to kill the dogs before they explode. How are you? Do this. Okay, so we can sell the titanium one, steel armor, and then let's go for first aid bandage. Any more jobs, buried supplies, uh, boom. I can't think Wait, I would just have to go back to the base and drop everything off because we are way too encumbered. Um, also, next episode we'll be able to drive around with the vehicle, so I can't wait to test the buggy. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do it today, but I hope your time's up, but yeah. I want to see if we can't get... I think we should be able to get the scientist class done and the buggy. And then next episode, we just have to keep on... I, I need to get resources. I might just actually pay Caitlin a visit as well. Because we do need, like, a ton of resources, and I know sometimes she sells for cheap. Although, I should probably see if we can actually find some Grandpa's Awesome Source before we go to her. If we don't have Grandpa's Awesome Source, it's going to be super duper expensive buying stuff from her. Let's do this. And the sound's bugged again. Damn it. I wonder if it's this area that's bugged. Because every time I get here, the sound starts bugging, especially close to my base and with my containers and stuff. So there might be a bug over here, or it might be Caitlyn bugging out from all the damage she's taking from Horde Knight. So yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends, comment, tips, and feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.